for all of the problems and bugs, Star Citizen also does its fair share of serving you up with absolutely epic moments, and the quantum linking feature is one such example of that. And this video will cover how that works, some of the bugs you will probably encounter on the way, as well as why it's even worth bothering to do it. I'm Farrister, and I often share Star Citizen videos like this on YouTube, so if this kind of thing is of interest to you, you might like to hit that subscribe button to be notified of future videos. To make use of quantum linking, the first thing you'll need to do is party up with the people you want to make the jump with. You don't have to set a destination in your Moby Glass, but it's a little easier to find where you're jumping to, especially if there are different locations in close proximity. You can do that by pressing F2, selecting your destination, and clicking Set Route. Then it's as simple as having the first player spool their quantum drive, by default that's the B for Bravo key, checking that other players are listed on the heads up display, and then everybody spooling up their own quantum drive. Only the jump leader should have to do the quantum drive calibration, the others inherit it from the jump leader. If things are working as intended, the heads up display will show each party member with a little circle to show their progress. An empty circle shows they haven't yet spooled, the circle will fill clockwise as they spool their quantum drive before being a complete circle. A complete white circle means they're spooled but aren't quite facing the right way, and a complete blue circle says they're good to go and ready to jump. Once you've got a blue circle for everybody, go ahead and hold your quantum travel key, once again defaulting to B for Bravo, and it should jump the whole party. Simple right? Well, as soon as you start trying, you're likely to encounter some minor roadblocks that want to get in the way. Firstly, sometimes you'll not see your party members listed when you spool up. After checking that you're all actually in the same party in-game, the quick and easy solution to this is to tell everybody to spool down their quantum drives and for you to do the same, then you only spool up. Hopefully, you then get the names appearing in the list, and you can ask everybody else to spool up. Another common bug is that you'll not always see each other while travelling in quantum travel. Sadly, that's just part and parcel of how the system is working at the moment, although those moments when you do see each other feel suitably epic. Sometimes, as part of the safety mechanisms around quantum travel, you'll end up separated a little bit when you enter or leave quantum travel, so don't be too surprised if that happens. After some testing with different quantum drives, as well as flying identical ships with identical drives, this seems to be unavoidable, although sometimes you get lucky. And sometimes, when you're trying to coordinate a group of players, you might find that your calibration stops or resets. If that happens, the best workaround seems to be to nominate one player as the jump leader, who tells everybody else when to spool up or spool down their quantum drives. They might also suggest that you press that like button on this video, if it's been helpful so far, to guide me to make more videos like this in the future. But you might be wondering, what's the advantage of quantum linking to jump together? Well, aside from the obvious cool factor, there are some advantages. Firstly, for ships that have quantum drives that are slower to calibrate, a player with a faster calibrating drive could initiate the jump, saving the party time overall, in theory. Or, for a group travelling together, quantum linking offers safety in numbers, as if one player is interdicted, the whole group exits quantum travel together, able to fend off any threats. And to some extent, it makes navigation a little easier for the group, since only one player needs to work out where to go and set a route, and the others just need to follow. But for many, it'll simply be the epic feeling when everything works as intended, and you execute your perfect formation jump for maximum impact. And speaking of maximum impact, it would be great if you would share your thoughts in the comments. Did I do a good job at explaining, or was there something missing? Let me know. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, you might press that like button. Otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.